Hello guys, this is Jay and Day here, and I'm here to bring you another Yandere story time thing. I've done this before, um, it's been like, what, a year, a <laughs> two years maybe, since I've done this, and a lot of, well not a lot of you, but some of you guys have been asking or commenting that, oh, when are you going to make another one? And I'm like, uh, yes, very soon, I just can't find a good story to tell yet. But anyway, um, I'm here to tell you that I'm gonna bring the series back this is episode two so hope you guys enjoy also um if you guys like the way i did it last time like with all the hand-drawn pictures just leave it in the comment that you liked it or something like that or if you have any other suggestions for videos and stuff like that yeah just like i said just put it in the comments anyways hope you guys enjoy the story and this is a three-part story so stay tuned to part two and three of episode two I should have known better, right? I should have seen all the red flags, right? I should have never got involved, right? Yeah, okay, I admit, I stuck it in the crazy once. It's part of my dark black past that I'm a bit embarrassed about. Well, that's what happens when people don't present themselves as who they really are. When they put on the front so convincing they believe it themselves. But I definitely learned a lot from my experience. And that's led me down this path to where I am now. To where I spent the last four years of my life figuring out dating and relationships. So at least I have that. So it's been four years since I broke up with her. And she's still chasing me. She's still got me listed on her MySpace and Facebook pages claiming we're married. For the record, we aren't now. Nor were we ever married. But that's the world she lives in. She tells her friends and co-workers we're married. At parties I've talked to girls I've never met, who knew her somehow and they recognize me. Oh, you're so and so husband, aren't you? No, that's the lie she tells everyone else because she thinks she can lie her way back into my life. It's like, that's why I left you in the first place. So I've got a crazy ex. It doesn't matter how much space I create between us, or how many of her email addresses I block, or how many of her social networks I preemptively block her from, or how many of her friend phones numbers I block. But yeah, you get the picture, right? The real problem is that she keeps lying to everyone until she believes it herself. And then she acts on it and tries coming around again. That's, I think, when she needs a good hard slap back into reality. Not her reality, because that's obviously not going to happen. But my reality, where I've let go and moved on. She just doesn't get the message that I'm not going to be with her again. Ever. And it's a very pathetic life she's living. And when I say pathetic, I mean it's with compassion. This poor girl, she's wasting her life pinning after me. And I want nothing to do with her. Doesn't she respect herself? Doesn't she deserve to move on and find somebody else? Isn't she worth at least that? Life is too short to waste on someone who can't or won't return your affection. I've always tried to remain civil. I respect her space and privacy. Not like I'm here to point her out by name. But that's just mean. Not to mention immature. I'm not here to harm her. Nor would I want anyone else who's being stalked to harm their stalker. To be continued.